What's up, Jigsaw Peace? And today, people, we are bringing you episode number two of that Pokemon Mystery Super Mystery Dungeon. I almost said Ghost Infinity. Woo! That, no, no, no. We are here with episode two. Uh, take two. <laughs> What's up, Jigsaw Peace? And today, people, we are bringing you. This is episode number two of our Super Mystery Dungeon Let's Play. And before we get started, if you wouldn't mind just tapping that like button down below, because your support really does mean the world, especially on a brand new series like this. <sighs> now, in the last episode, you guys, I believe we just did a bunch of tutorial sort of stuff, and Nuzleaf introduced us to the word Dagnabbit. So, I need to get my page up. I am very not uh, prepared. I was just excited to play, so I jumped straight in. And t today we actually do have volume. Uh, I'm going to turn it up in my own ears, and we're going to click continue. No? Yes? Thank you. I was like, "Start working." Why is it not working? <laughs> okay. All right. Enough silliness. Ooh, where are we arriving? What was his voice? I reckon we're here. Was that his voice? Eh. This is my house. Yeah, my house. No, he's... This way. Wait, that's not right. Here you are. You can bunk down in this room from now. It may not be much, but it'll take you as, as it will. And well, as for the rest of it, what do you reckon you're gonna do? I can't help wondering why them BHM were coming at you like that. But all the wondering in the world won't give me nothing, nothing but a headache. That was his voice. We could get us some answers if and we, your mem, whoa, if and when your memory come ever comes back. But until then, you can just stay here. Sound good? I wouldn't tell the other folk in the village about the BHM though. Might scare them off. And Lizzy, that right? You're about school age for the likes of you. So I reckon you should get. You enrolled in the village school. People will wonder even more about you if you aren't going to school at your age. So let's just agree that you'll be your god to school for the time being, alright? I reckon that I'll go and get that I took care of right away. So don't you stick one toe outside this house till I get back, you hear? Alright. You hear? You're not to go outside. Not even a mistake or nothing. Alright, Nuzleaf, calm down. So what are we? Oh, what was that noise? Oh, that gave me a chill. Whoa! Crunch, 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 crunch. There's something outside. Could it be those BHM? I thought I'd lost them once and for all, but. He said stay indoors. Nasli said stay indoors. Are we really doing this? You're going to make me walk outside, aren't you? <sighs> I don't see anyone out here, but... I can't let my guard down. Not if I'm careful, then. Bulbasaur! Bulbasaur! I knew it! Oh! I, I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. I totally saw you go inside Mr. Nuzleaf just now. Where are you from? What's your name? Uh, well, my name... I'm Tropic. I live right nearby with my old pops. That house right there. So where are you from? You're not seriously Mr. Nuzleaf's kid or anything, are you? Like, that could ever happen. Ha 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 Alright, but this is your first time here, isn't it? In that case, I'll show you around the place. Come on! Hey, what? What? No, I'm not meant to leave the house. What did you say your name was? Oh, wait. Did I ask that already? I didn't ask you, did I? He's rather excited. I see. So you're a jigsaw, huh? Sorry about that. I went and asked and never even gave you a chance to answer. Huh. Am I annoying? You're totally thinking about how annoying I am right now, yes? Well, quit it. Sheesh. Give me a break, you big meal tank. <laughs> <laughs> you big meal tank. Okay. <laughs> See what I did there? A little joke. Within the meal tank. <laughs> Which leads us to... Ta-da! 
Here she is, Serene Village, and her heart is this plaza here. Mmm, it's pretty. It's pretty. It may not look like much, but we've got most of the basic facilities here. Over there, you've got your deposit box. You can deposit your items and money in there and take them out again later. And there's Kecleon's shop. You can buy all sorts of items there. It's probably too much to take it all in at once, so I'll tell you about each facility in turn. Let's see. To start with, we've got... There you are, Tropic. I, I don't know who this is. Oh. El Lombre! El Lombre! Hey, hey, El Lombre! So this is where you've been. You're the one who trampled all through my Lotus Pond, aren't you? It, it wasn't like that. I was just trying to have a little adventure. Tropic... Stop right there. Dan Hippopotas! You are the one that went vent into my cave, aren't you? That v and that's more, you took the treasure. I had hidden inside, didn't you? No, no, I was just exploring a dungeon and I happened to a. Uh, well, you know how it is. You gotta have a reward after clearing a dungeon, right? Stop right there, Tropic. P Pops! Oh, oh man, Carla Costa! <laughs> this is where you've been loitering, child. What about your chores back home, eh? Playing hooky again to wander around, eh? No, pups. I have a real reason this time. And I know you've been snacking on the oran berries from my field again. I have not. You have. I have not. I want the truth from you, child. Yeah, I did eat them. They were delicious. <laughs> Hey, I see Tropic over there. Everybody, Tropic's been sighted. Gah! Don't you dare run, we'll catch you! We're coming for you! Oh my god. <laughs> He's got himself in a lot of trouble. What in the world did I just witness? Okay, I ended up left behind, but since I'm here anyway, I might as well have a look around. No, go back to the house. When you're in a town or a village, you can save your game by going to the X menu. Inside a dungeon, you can use an item known as Progress Device to save your game. Okay. Let's see what's in here then. Hi, how are you doing today, Mr. Rhyme? I put my heart into it. Into what? Into what? Sheesh, you can hear lots of things if you stay quiet. Oh, me? You seem to be a new face around here, my child. Is this your first time visiting our village? Oh, is that it? Oh, okay then. Ah, luchador! You child! You are a child, aren't you? It was obvious to me at a glance. My hobby is techniques, useful moves to good little children. Ha ha! Sadly, I haven't been hearing the cheers from my little uh, lucha maniacs out there, which is why I can't open my shop just now. Sorry. I'll be sure to open up shop once I feel the love from my little hoochie lucha maniacs. You just have to be patient until then. Ha ya ya! Alright. Uh, what else? There's a pier. Oh. Hmm. What's going on over there? What Gumi did? Yeah, well, he insisted on going. No more excuses, showman. Tell me the truth. You and Panchan pushed him into this, didn't you? That's not fair, Dilling. He's the one who said he wanted to go. How can you stand there and blame us? Quite easy. You're the ones who are always te teasing poor Gumi after all. Someday you're going to go too far and it'll be too late for sorries then. I, I know that. No need to fuss so much. You're going to show me the way there. Right now. Those two kids. They must live here in the village too, huh? I wonder what's going on. They seem pretty tense about something. I don't care. I'm gone. Fuck that shit. Ah, uh, fine. <sighs> yes, we'll go meddling in other people's business. What? He still hasn't come back out? Yeah, that's right. It's been pretty long time too. I knew he was a total wimp. <laughs> no surprise there. He should have just admitted what a wimp he is and kept his mouth shut. But he had to go and talk big like he could handle this kind of place. He was boasting, saying, I'll show you. That's what got him into this mess. 
He's probably just huddled up somewhere in the forest, petrified and sniffling back tears. <laughs> you were so mean, Pancham. Gummy isn't even the same age as us yet. Yeah, but he's the one who talks big. He's got what's coming to him. We figure it's our job to teach him a little something about how harsh the world is. And if something happens to him in there, what are you going to do then, huh? I'm going in after him. No way! You can't go in there, darling! What if something happened to you? We can't let that happen to our idol. We're not letting you step a foot in such a dangerous place. Are you kidding me? Then fine, you go in after him. You want us to go? In the foreboding forest? No way, why would we do that? I mean, it's not, not that we're scared or anything like that. I just don't want you to get in the wrong idea or whatever, you understand, right? Who? Who's this? Haven't seen you around before. Where'd you come from? You're not from the village. What's the matter? S Skitty got your tongue? Well, no one's going to un uh, gonna understand you if you don't ever speak up. Well, what should I do? I did overhear what they were saying. I guess I could go off her to look for that Gumi kid. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I can shake this feeling. I'll do it. What? You're going there for us? You sure about this? You do know that this place is like super scary, right? Well, well, if you really want to want to go on all, I guess we're not going to stand in your way. But it's no skin off our backs if you get in any trouble out there. Are you sure you're going to do this? Where was Gumi trying to go anyway? He shouldn't have gone in that far in. He's a big old piece of paper in the forest, not that far from the entrance. A piece of paper? When Pancham and I came exploring the forest before, see, we brought it to use like a top, so we had something to sit on. Then we got jumped by, by a whole bunch of scary Pokemon. Man, that was awful. You should have seen Pancham's face. Remember, it still cracks me up. Ah! <laughs> Back to the point. So you guys left that paper there? Is that it? And you told Gumi to go find it? Yeah! We told him to find the paper and write his name on it and bring it back. And if he could do that, we'd, we said we'd admit that he has some real guts. I'm sorry about this. I think you've got the picture now. Will you really help? Say ya! Be careful in the air. Alrighty then, foreboding forest. Let us go. In a dungeon, pick up as many items as possible to help you through difficult situations. Press B to check your items. He's asleep. Eat a blasty, then you will spit fire forward, causing huge damage. I mean, I can just Dragon Rage then. Dragon Rage is base guaranteed 40. Wave a slumber wand, and it emits a mysterious power that sends a Pokemon it hits to sleep. Wands are excellent items that you can use several times. Wands are new to this game, so that's interesting. Use a Petrify Orb to petrify and immobilize enemies. It only affects enemies in the same room as you. We got a tiny reviver seed. What is a tiny reviver seed? Because I remember reviver seeds. There are two enemies, enemy Pokemon. You're in big trouble. Use a petrified orb and you can make multiple enemies unable to move. If you don't have it, go back to the path you came from. No, I can use it. See, so this is more like tutorial stuff, which is kind of booty. You can't miss. Why are you missing? We've missed three in a row. I can't land a special move. What the fuck? There we go. Oops. Oh, that hurt. Yo, why can I land a single fucking Dragon Rage? <gasps> Wait, am I being stupid? Is Fur for a fairy? I feel like it isn't, but it might be. I feel like it's a normal type, so it should have landed. He's a fairy type, I know that much. Okay. Second floor. Mmm. -hmm. If you fail in your adventure, you'll end up losing your items and money. Apple. Apple? Bapper. I mean, this music's very... 
Oh, we gained a level. We gained a level. We gained a level. We're level six. We're level six. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, there's a lot of items in there that I want. Apple. Apple. Catch that flame burst. I should be able to land a Dragon Rage on you. Thank you. Dragon Rage is only base thir does 30 damage in this game. Mm. Can I get the Petra Berry, please? Thank you. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Third floor. There's the stairs. Fourth floor. Yeah. Making progress. Ooh, items. Confusing wand. Can I just pick it up? Bags too full. Ooh, okay. Uh, I mean, I guess we can get rid of an apple. What's this? Tiny rock. Oh, keep that. Uh, 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 swap it with an apple. Reviver seeds. If I remember in the older games, they are they can come in so clutch. It's unreal. It's unreal. Oh, I feel like I've come pretty far, but oh, that must be him. Hey, you done it. Good shit. Okay, Gumi, Gumi, Gumi. Uh, why did he come here? I'm so scared. <laughs> Is this the big piece of paper that Panjam and Shelby were talking about? It's got writing on it. Foot writing. The letters are oddly squiggled and sort of hard to read, but somehow I think I can read them. Gumi. That's what it looks like. I see. Which definitely makes this kid the Gumi they were talking about. Gumi made it all the way here and even wrote his name like they told him to. That took real courage. <laughs> huh? So... Gooby, you're here. You're here to help me. Oh, oh, oh! I was so scared. <laughs> Calm down. You, you actually made it back. And you bought the paper back too. You even wrote your name on it. Huh? What up with this rain? It's so sloppy and all over the place. It's not sloppy! Gooby! It's not sloppy! Too funny. I bet you were too scared and shaky to even write properly. That's hilarious. Come on, let's go show this to everyone. See ya, suckers! Ha 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 ha! They're bullies. Hey, you two! Oh, I had it up to here with them. And you too, Gumi. I'm glad you made it out okay, but what if there hadn't been anyone around to help? Gumi, sorry, dealing. I wanted to show them that I had real guts too. Those two will just goad you into doing something crazy. You can't listen to them. Well, you did give it. it whoa! You did give it everything you had. That's for sure. Did Gumi did the dealing? You made it far into the forest alone. You wrote your name just like they asked, even though you were writing in sloppy. Gumi, don't get in sloppy. And. It's really thanks to you that Gumi got out of there in one piece today. We really do owe you, so thank you. Um... Um... You never did tell us your name, did you? I'm gonna get in trouble with Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf. I'm gonna get in trouble with Nuzleaf. Yes, I am. What? Nuzleaf, yeah. After I done told you not to leave the house, I've done told you to stay inside until I got home, did I not? You best learn to mind your elders next time. But, well, I ain't like I can't understand the itch to see the wider world out there. I reckon this must be all new to you after all. It's a fine thing to have a love of adventure in your heart. Grown-ups will always be saying, you can't do this, that, or the other. But there are things in life you'll never learn except by experiencing them for yourself. I reckon I'm pretty lax when it comes to adventuring and what have you. So if you go hankering to go adventuring around the village, you go right ahead. But from tomorrow morning, you'll be attending class at the local school. So you tuck in early tonight to be all ready for the first big day. Has he, like, adopted us? Is that kind of what it feels like? Kind of what it feels like, you know? You know? You, you feel me? 
You feel me? The next morning. I reckon we ought to head to school early this time. I'll have to introduce you to the teachers and all, for starters. I'll go along with you this time, but from tomorrow you'll be making the trip by yourself. Let's hit the road. Okie dokie. On a hill where a large tree stands. Oh, it's a fire fetched. This music's so happy. Okay. And that's what about what's the Whoa. And that's about some of it, Mr. Mr. Principal, Mr. First Principal. So I'll be leaving the kid in your hands. Go on, show your manners and say hello. <laughs> it looks like we have another fun addition to our class. What a delight. I'll be glad to take responsibility for the education of your young charge. Good. I'll just be seeing myself out then. <laughs> just don't make any trouble in school. We've already got enough troublemakers on our hand. I can't weather another scandal. Now, now, Vice Principal Watchhog, I wouldn't say that's quite unnecessary. Uh, do we truly have any troublemakers at our fine school? Of course we do. One in particular, that very bane of my existence. You know exactly who I'm talking about, Mr. Principal. You don't, and don't you deny it. My dear Vice Principal, I'm sure you'd never mean to speak ill of our precious students. Gooby, good morning, Mr. Farfetch. Farfetch, ah, yes, good morning. M morning, Farfetch. And a morning to you, Miss Sterling. Morning, teacher. Hey, teach, why are you always carrying that leak around with you, huh? Well, it would be quite far-fetched for me to not carry around such a useful tool. I'm afraid you're wrong about one thing, though. This is no leak, it's a stock. Uh, but never you mind that now. Come along, everyone, to your seats. It seems as though the students have arrived behind, have begun to arrive. Let's introduce you to your new classmates, shall we? Everyone, I have a special treat for you. We have a new friend join us today. You'll be learning together from now on. That's the kid who... You're the one from yesterday. What's that? It looks like some of you may... Or some of you are already acquainted with our new friend. For you, those of you who are not, I'd like you to meet Jigsaw. Jigsaw has just moved here from... Moved here and lives with Mr. Nuzleaf, who you may know. I hope you all get along well. Mm. <sighs> I couldn't say it fast enough in his accent. I was like, Baba Thaw, go back! <laughs> Roger. Debico, the troublemaker strikes again. Baba Thaw. Whoa, sorry, sorry, you okay? Wow, you're the one I. It's that crazy kid from yesterday. Everything's going black. Can't hold on. Oh, he passed out. What? I passed out? What? Huh? Where am I? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, you've come back to us. This is the school nurse office. You blacked out and lost consciousness. It was Tropic who took you out. Do you remember anything? Well, it's good that you're awake now. Looks like you should be fine. Oh, me? I'm Ordino. I'm actually the village doctor, but I also help out teaching health here at the school. I'm sure you'll see me around. I'm afraid class has started without you. If you feel up to it, Jigsaw, you should probably hurry back to join them. Okay! Farfetch! So, uh, in the end, the Graveler, fed up with the lack of sleep, decided to try counting Mareep. One Mareep. Two Mareep, three Mareep, four Mareep, five Mareep, six Mareep. <laughs> oh, there's Jigsaw. I'm awake, I'm listening. <laughs> Baba Thaw. Jigsaw, you're finally awake, are you okay? It was totally my fault for running into you like that. Farfetch, excuse me. We're in the middle of class, you know. No one said you could leave your seats. Sorry, Mr. Farfetched. I like the tune. Far-fetched! Jigsaw! 
Are you well enough to rejoin the class? In that case, please find your seat. There's a space open next to Tropic. Baba <laughs> Alright! All eyes up front! Yeah, Baba Yes, sir! Perfect! Now then, let me continue with the reading. Let's see, where were we? Yes, yes, right about here. Seven Marib. Eight Marib. Nine Marib. Ten Marib. <laughs> when recess finally rolled around. Gooby, thanks again for yesterday. We owe you this, Jigsaw. You really saved Gumi out there. Baba Sal, wait a minute. What did you do, Jigsaw? Suddenly everybody loves you around here. Okay. Heh, <laughs> what a bunch of dummies. Hey, Pan Cham, I've got a good idea. What kind of idea, Shomit? Well, you see. Whisper, 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 murmur, murmur, whisper, whisper. <gasps> They're up to no good. Ding, ding, dong, ding. And finally, class is drew to an end for the day. And after school... Goodbye, Mr. Farfetch'd. Farfetch'd. Yes, see you tomorrow. Gooby, see you later, Mr. Farfetch'd. Yes, yes, you take care on your way home. Baba Saw, hey, kids, sir. Let's walk home together. All right. I'm sorry I never got to finish showing you around the plaza yesterday. I'm afraid a little something popped up and got in the way. Ha 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 ha. But today, today's a new day. How about I take you around after this? What? You've already been, already shown yourself around? Ah. Uh, that's that, I guess. I'm a star. I, I know. Then in that case, how about this? I've got some place really good to show you. Some place really good? Yeah, it's the best and you'll feel great after visiting it. You'll see. Don't you want to check it out right away? I guess so. Really? You really come with me? Alright, you're the best. Then follow me. This way, hurry. Hold it right there. <laughs> we just run straight past them. <laughs> hey, hey, I told you to stop, didn't I? Oh. Damn it, I thought we were just going to carry on. Baba Star, what is it? We've got some place to be, so we weren't talking to you. It's Jigsaw who needs to hear us out. So, Jigsaw, you did a pretty good job making it out of the foreboding forest yesterday. Baba Star, what? Jigsaw, you went into the foreboding forest yesterday? No one's talking. Whoa, what was that voice? It's so hard to keep up with all the voices. No one is talking to you, little. Anyway, Jigsaw. Don't you think that making it out of foreboding farts means you're tough? Yeah, don't you think that? There's a way scarier places than that in the world. Yeah, there are! <laughs> Look at Bulbasaur's eyes. He's like, oh, is there? Yeah, right. I forgot you're an expedition society wannabe or whatever. Back to the point. If you can clear an even scarier dungeon, then we'll admit that you've got some guts. So how about it? You up to the challenge? Baba Star, yeah, I'll go, I'll go. No one is talking to you. He's so happy. He's so happy. But I think we're going to leave it on the cliffhanger. Because we're going to wrap up today's episode right here. Obviously, we had a little bit of adventure. Um, most of it is still tutorial sort of stuff. But I hope you guys are enjoying the voices and such. Um... <laughs> They're so hard to do, like, to switch between quickly. So sometimes they meld together and sound like the same thing. But if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, then please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Jamie Jigsaw. I upload daily, and I'll see you guys next time.